Hi everybody, my name is Katie and I'm with the Penn State Healthy Bodies Project. Today, we're gonna start eating through the alphabet. Before we get too far into learning about our awesome food of the week, we're gonna take a second to shake out all those wiggles. So, what we want you to do is stand up and we're gonna put some activity movements on the screen and it's only gonna be for about 30 seconds. We want you to try and move like what you see on the screen. Ready? Let's spend some time thinking about the foods that we've already tasted while we've been eating through the alphabet. What was the last food that we tasted? Hmm. What was it called? What color was it? What shape was it? What food group did it belong in? Hmm. What letter did it start with? Hmm. Why don't you pause the video now and talk about all of those questions and maybe more with the people that you're with. Today, we're gonna to taste a food that begins with the letter Z. Can you think of any foods or words that start with that letter? Wow, you came up with some really good words. Some words that I came up with were ziti, which is a type of pasta, and it has a very specific shape to it, or zest, which is what you get when you grate a lemon or a lime. Are you curious to know what our food of the week is? Well, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some clues, and then I'm gonna show you part of our food of the week, and I'm gonna have you try and guess what you think the food is. All right. Here come the clues. Ready? Our first clue is that our food of the week starts with the letter Z. Our second clue is that our food of the week is usually green, but sometimes you'll see it in other colors. And our last clue is that our food of the week is a type of squash. Do you think you know what it is? Get ready, because here comes the picture. When you see the picture on the screen, go ahead and hit pause and talk about what you think the food of the week might be with anybody who's around you. See if you can figure it out before we tell you the answer. Can you guess what food this is? If you guess that our food of the week is zucchini, then you're right, it is. Great job. Now that you know what the food of the week is, we're going to put a full picture of it up on the screen for you. You're gonna hit pause and then you're gonna talk about it with the people that you're with. Talk about what color it is, talk about what shape it is, maybe even talk about if you've tried it before. Zucchini is a really fun word and I wanna practice saying it. So I'm gonna say it first and then I want you to repeat the way that I say it. Are you ready? Zucchini! You try. Good job! All right, now I'll try this one. Zucchini, zucchini. Good job! All right, last one. Let's try and say it three times really fast. Ready? Zucchini, zucchini, zucchini! Is zucchini a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm. It's a vegetable. And does zucchini grow on the ground or on a tree? Hmm. It grows on the ground. All right, now it's time for some fun food facts about our food of the week. Let's go! Zucchini is just one type of summer squash. They come in a lot of different colors and shapes. Zucchini have a lot of seeds in them. 
you can actually eat the skin and the seeds of a zucchini. If you can eat the skin or the seeds of your fruits and vegetables, then you should, because that's where all the good stuff is that helps you grow and stay healthy. Zucchinis have a lot of water in them, and they're really good for your eyes. And don't forget, all fruits and vegetables need to be washed before you eat or cook with them. Who is ready and excited to try our food of the week? Before we do that though, I want to sing our tasting song. So stand up and see if you can sing it with me or even dance along. Let's all try this new food. Let's all try this new food. Let's all try this new food. I wonder how it tastes. Thank you so much for singing the tasting song with me. I'm definitely ready to try our zucchini now and I have some sliced up and ready to go. Okay. I think this is going to be pretty easy. Why don't you guys count down with me? Three, two, one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's crunchy. It's good. Thanks for trying that with me. Next time you go to the grocery store, put on your looking glasses. Pew, pew. Take a look around and see if you can find our food of the week. Don't forget, we also have a craft for you to try. You might need to gather some materials first and make sure that you ask an adult for help. Before you go, we're going to do one more poem. Stand up. Get your hands ready because you're gonna do the motions with me. Here we go. Hands on shoulders, hands on knees. Hands behind you, if you please. Touch your shoulders, now your toes, now your chin, and now your nose. Put your hands up in the air. Now by your sides, now touch your hair. Put your hands up as before. Now clap your hands, one, two, three, four. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We've really enjoyed learning with you. And we hope to see you next time when we learn about another new fruit or vegetable. Until then, see you later.